The central dimension of a funeral is, is that hope of the resurrection. I mean, first and foremost, we're, we're there for the deceased, to pray for that person as they can continue their, their journey home, which of course is our, our great hope. And also, I believe a, a funeral is celebrated for the family that's gathered, family and friends, to draw strength from the prayers, from the liturgy, um, and, and also from all of those that, that are present. For me, every funeral was unique. Uh, it wasn't just like, we do this, here's the set description. And so working with the family, picking different readings, and, and bringing that person very much into the liturgy. The funeral planning is, is very, very important. You know, to really gather the family together, to look at the readings, to choose those readings that, that really speak to them. And also I think it's very important as, as a family to come together prior to the funeral, to really reflect on the life of, of the deceased. And I, I find actually oftentimes that can be a healing uh, process. And of course then the Mass, the, the blessing and the, the scripture readings and all of that would all talk and focus on the next life because death is just really a transition uh, from our present life here to the spiritual life with the rewards of heaven. You know, we need to be very welcoming. Maybe they don't go to church all the time or they walked away, but they're coming back to it. And this is our opportunity to show them that they're welcome back into our faith and, uh, and actually walk through them, explain to them what the Catholic funeral rite is. This is our opportunity to say, welcome back. Welcome back, we, we love having you here. Just as Jesus resurrected, it is our great hope as well that at the end of time, the general judgment that our bodies will reunite with our spirits and our bodies will resurrect at the end and live in, in a glorified state for all of eternity. And what, what a wonderful thing to hope for, right? Mm -hmm.